Paragon Software Group is a leading provider of disaster recovery, virtualization, migration, deployment, and system optimization solutions since 1994. We help our customers reduce server downtime and improve their backup and DR strategy, leverage and manage virtual environments, and improve the performance of their storage systems, data centers, and applications by optimizing partition structures and alignment. Welcome to this product overview of Paragon Deployment Manager 10. Today we'll take a look at remote deployment features such as session-based deployment, multicasting and unicasting, integrated PIXI and DHCP server, and deployment console. Imaging features include the hard disk manager and adaptive imaging tools. Paragon also supports Microsoft SysPrep, scripting, and files update. Deployment Manager supports most Windows operating systems, File systems such as NTFS, FAT16, FAT32, Linux, and Apple HFS. And hardware devices such as Solid State, SCSI, RAID, and USB devices. This is part 3 of the 3 part series. In part 3, we will focus on product license, how to create a template, start a session, and deploy a machine. We'll go ahead and launch the console next and take a look at how the license work. First we'll go to the help and then the about. In this window, it will display how many licenses are available, how many are used, and the option to add additional license by clicking the add button. Users will browse for the provided license file to update the license count. There are two types of license that can be purchased. One is called a per seat and the other one is a rollout. Typically, a rollout license is a one-time use license ideal for system builders. The other types of license is a per seat which can be used on the same machine multiple times. For example, in an environment with 100 unique machines, those machines can be re-imaged as many times as required without expending additional license. If we take a look here at our left hand side, this is the template column. This is where we can keep track of multiple images and template for our deployment. For example, I'll have an image here of Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows Vista. To create a new template, we click on the new template link and launch the new template wizard. Here we browse for an archive that we previously created with the hard disk manager. Next, we select the network interface card that we want to use for the deployment. Next, we have the different types of deployment session assignments. The first one is the automatic mode. Clients are assigned to deploy it automatically after the Pixie boot. In the next two modes, clients can join with defined session ID or MAC addresses. At last, we can create the session as a constant cast session where machines have the ability to join a session midstream. This allows us to join clients to an active session already running. Here we can enable post configuration options to be run after the deployment. In the post config templates, the adaptive restore template allows us to deploy a standard image to multiple models. In the process, we also reset the HAL or the hardware abstraction layer so the next time the system reboots, all the necessary drivers are already installed and compatible with that specific model. Other templates include an auto expand to expand partition tables, file updates, power off, reboot, and a standard template. For more information on how to prepare a universal image to support multiple hardware platforms, complete with operating system, drivers, and software, which is compatible with the Deployment Manager, please refer to Paragon Adaptive Imaging Tools at the following link. Now that we have our new template created on our left hand side, we can go ahead and create a session. Simply right click the template we want to use and create a new session. Here we specify the target hard drive number and partition number we want to image to. Next we choose how often we want to run our session. For example, we can choose once, daily, weekly, monthly, or cyclic. 
Cyclic implies that the session will remain active until turned off. Now that we have our session active and running, we can go ahead and power up one of our client's machine to begin the imaging. With one of our machines boot up into the WinPE environment, we'll go ahead and select the Paragon Start button on the bottom left hand side, which brings up the default menu items, which should look familiar from what we've selected to be enabled during the boot media builder process. We have server driving mode, client driving mode, and manual mode. Within the manual mode is the hard disk manager. And if we are booting this machine for the first time, and we want to capture that standard or golden image, we want to use the hard disk manager and perform the backup tasks. Otherwise, for everyday deployment, we use the server driving mode or the client driving mode. The network configurator and the load driver is for one-time use to access network share and load custom drivers. Now we will restart our machine to see from start to end how the deployment process works. From the BIOS, we'll go ahead and select the network boot as our option. The WinPE image will load after we receive an IP address from the DHCP server. Paragon will then initialize the hardware, and depending on what the settings were, in this case, the server driving mode will run automatically after 5 seconds. The multicast client is now active, and with an active session already created on the server, the imaging will take place. In the progress window, we get some basic information like time elapsed and time remaining. If we click on the operation statistics, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the other important information, such as read and write speed, data process, and data to process. Back on the server, once the client machine has successfully deployed, we'll get a run history. And if we click on this run history, we'll get basic information of start and stop time and the client computer name. This concludes part three of the deployment manager overview. Please view the remaining parts of the series to see all the features and functionality that deployment manager has to offer. For additional information including sales, or if you would like to receive an evaluation copy of the software, please contact us at 888-347-5462 or email us at sales underscore USA at paragon-software.com. Thank you for viewing this Paragon Software Group presentation.